So I'm at the furthest point from my 11 mile bike ride heading back home. I've been trying to do this every day and it's kind of getting in better shape. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, gotta do it while the weather's good because as soon as it's winter time, I don't think I'm gonna be uh, bike riding. There used to be a skate park here. It's like a cool little skate park, but for some reason, if I can see the old people, do like those kids skateboard on the sidewalk, they just uh, tore it out. And from someone that used to skateboard all the time, it hurts my heart. And yes, I do ride on the sidewalk. Because guess what? I've been hit by a car before when I was a kid. And uh, it wasn't fun. So uh, I'd much rather ride on the sidewalk and keep my skills up to date as far as like dodging cars and stuff like that. It's just what I enjoy. I mean, I used to skateboard down Hollywood Boulevard and dodge people and cracks in the road. So this is more my speed anyway. On this little bike ride, I also do a bit of always have a radical in my pocket. I'm trying to clean the radiation levels. <laughs> Mapping it out. It's kind of fun to look at later after the, after the bike rides over. chill here. I can actually like ride around with no hands. Now, riding no hands isn't something I'm totally comfortable with because one of the worst bike rides I've ever had was go down a hill, no hands, fell. And it is stuck in my memory to this day as one of the worst falls I've ever had to endure. Oh, and that was probably like when I was like 11 memories. So there's a lot of construction going on here in Bozeman because it seems to be one of the fastest growing areas in Montana where it's out everyone wants to live here. I can see why it's pretty awesome especially in the summertime. But winters this can be a little challenging you know but like for everything as long as you dress for it it's not so bad. Do. I kind of don't like to see everything get developed. I like to see those like open fields, but progress marches on. There's no way to stop it. Also, the reason why I'm kind of doing these vlogs or this one vlog is because so I watch a lot of Casey Neistat and I like the idea of documenting life so people can go back and look at it. I mean, I'm watching his vlog from the beginning and that was 10 years ago. So it's an interesting snapshot of what our world looked like 10 years ago, or at least what Casey Neistat's, looked, you know, what his world looked like 10 years ago. So I like the concept of it, and that's why I'm doing it. Because I do think it's pretty cool. And it's a great way to kind of document history, which I'm all about. Know where you were at what point in time type of stuff, how things looked at a certain point in time, you know, it's, uh, it has interest, it has interest to me, and that's why I want to do it. Anyway, getting close to the end, it's probably took a little bit longer, it usually takes uh, about an hour to do 11 miles around Bozeman, is the route that I take, so, not too bad, gets me out of the house, but try to do it first thing in the morning. Like before coffee, before food, I just have a little bit of water, then hit the road. Seems to be working pretty good. 
see if I can keep it up.